This video outlines in short the third part of creating an inspection record, how to populate the overall inspection outcome and reports section of the inspection record form. It shows also how to submit an inspection record and how to update or cancel an inspection record. After populating the fields in the section General Information and inserting two inspections in the inspection section, one planned and one carried out, click on the Overall Inspection Outcome and Reports section on the left side. On the right side, click on the Add Report button. In the new line with fields that appears, use the drop down lists to select the related site and the related EU or non EU trials as applicable. The available values are retrieved from the information that has been populated in the Inspections section. Click on the Add Document button to upload any documents relevant to the outcome of the inspections. Below, in the Overall Recommendation field, pick up from the list the appropriate values. Multiple values can be selected. Type your comments in the Overall Outcomes Comments text field. Once you finish the details, you can save the inspection record. Now that the outcome and reports section have been populated, and there is an inspection report attached for each site and trial included in the inspection record, the carried out inspection has changed to completed. Click on the Submit button. In the pop up window, tick in the boxes and the Confirm button will be activated. A green message will appear on the upper right corner and the submission date will be populated. The inspections have changed also the submission status, from draft to submitted. If needed, you can update a submitted inspection, by editing some of the fields, found in the inspection record form. In this example, in the general information section, the general comments field is edited and the scope is updated, from trial specific, to trial and system facility specific. Click submit the changes, and a second version of the inspection record has been created. You can access the previous version from the versions button, on the right side of the form. Click on it, and select the previous version. You can view the details of previous version of this section. Back to the inspections, on the right side, you can find the action buttons. Besides the history folder button, which works similarly to the versions button, previously presented, and from which you can access the various versions of the inspections, you can use the X icon, to cancel inspections that have not been completed. In this example, the planned inspection is now cancelled. In the pop-up window, insert a comment in the respective field to justify the cancellation of the inspection entry and to activate the confirm button. The cancel button disappears while the status of the inspection changes from planned to cancelled. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to submit an inspection record and how to update or cancel an inspection, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.